What's going on everybody? It's Josh. Today is Monday, July 3rd. As you guys well know, I have today off. I'm about to get in the car now, go start my day of hunting. It's like almost 8 o'clock I think, so a lot of the stores are opening up. I'm going to go to a Target and a Walmart right now and then head over to uh, the mall and then hit a couple of toy stores that are open in between. So you guys are coming along with me. I hope you enjoy. Seems like everybody is loving the Kokomo Toys video, so I absolutely appreciate your support on that. So I'm ready to get this day started. I hope you guys enjoy and let's go take a look. Alright guys, first stop is Target. It's like 8.30. I've actually ne never been to this store when it's this empty. So I hope they're open. That's what the internet says. So, But you can't believe everything that's on that damn thing. So let's go see what they have. I'm not really looking for anything in particular besides maybe some wave 2 of the 40th figs. Um, just to hook up some people. So I guess keep our fingers crossed and we'll see. Okay, well, uh, scratch that. Internet says 8 o'clock and their door says 9. So I look pretty, uh, pretty dumb walking up with this camera so i guess uh i guess walmart it is they are obviously open so let's go check it out so if you're confused raise your hand i'm an idiot i'm inside target um the hours that i read on the front of the door were like the cvs the pharmacy hours or something but but anyways i'm in the toy aisle and i'm already having luck so here we go with the homecoming wave it looks like they just stocked it looks like they have that and then some X-Men figs, Polaris, Dazzler, Polaris, Phoenix. We got Drax for the Guardians wave, but I'd like to see some 40th figs here. But I picked up, ooh, focus. I picked up Cosmic Spidey. I haven't opened them yet. Cause the only one I need is Beetle, but I don't want to buy it just for uh, the reason I don't like the fig, but I need the wing for it. And the Star Wars aisle. All we have is Cassian and Jen. We don't even have any ATACT drivers, which is weird. And I wish these would go on clearance. I still have yet to pick it up. Honestly, I just want the Death Trooper out of it. I know he's exclusive, but like, look at that paint app. It looks like he has a bloodshot eye. And for 40th figs, oh, focus. And 40th figs, we only have Leia. Go figure. So I'll go ahead and be the first to say those clips were absolutely horrible in there. I don't even, I'll actually put them in just because, but my camera started doing something really weird. I turned it on uh, after that last clip. Um, I went to turn it on again and it said that the battery was uh, insufficient or something for my camera. So I didn't, I don't know. It said turning off for my safety and I didn't know if the thing was going to like blow up in my hand. So I'm using it now. I don't know what's going on, but I want to change my battery real quick and see if that helps. But now we are on our way to Walmart. So I'll see you there. All right, guys, got my battery switched. So hopefully this works the rest of the day here at Walmart. I didn't pick up anything at Target just for one, the battery thing scared me because um, this is an expensive camera. I don't really want anything going wrong with it. Um, and it's my first store, so I want to see what everything else has and maybe a couple comic shops locally might have a better deal on that stuff. But either way, fingers crossed, let's see what they have. Okay, Walmart toy aisle. Um, well, let me show you guys. So as you guys saw in one of my other videos, I pointed at my Walmart. So this is all the homecoming stuff they have. And then I walked around the freaking corner and there was a whole display of them. So this is just the aisle section. Um, they still have this Bucky from forever ago. Guardians, Guardians, Havoc, Doctor Strange, two pack. Um, I haven't been to this Walmart in quite a while, but it looks like it's just the same. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while now, You'll actually see that I saw this Cassian like a month or so ago because his arms broke and the jacket is missing. I think someone pointed out so 40th Luke's and Obi's. I wish that Vader pack would go on clearance. Uh, nothing up here. Pop wise not looking fun at all. If any of you guys could help me out. I am looking for that Revenge of the Sith one with Palpatine and the 212th clone. I have not been able to find one at all with a good box that 
is at a Walmart. I've seen them at toy shops and toy shows, but they're wanting like 50 or 60 bucks. So I'm asking you, if you have one, please hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. Well, that's it for the toy aisle. So let me go walk around and see if they have any displays and I'll pick it back up. Okay, well, uh, that, was, that was quick, that was short, that's good though. Now I'm going to head down south of where I am and probably hit up the mall area because um, I think they open in like 45 minutes so that'll give me enough time to get down there, hit FYE, all that stuff. I probably won't record in there. I don't know when I'll pick it back up, but whenever I do, I, I guess you'll see it. All right, and Walmart number two. Um, I got down here a lot quicker than I thought, so I have about 20 minutes to kill, then I will head to Toys R Us and then eventually the mall. So let's go see what they have. All right. So walking up and they have the display out. It looks like homecoming, beetle, web, web, and web suit. So it's for sure been picked through from what it looks like. Have the pops. I know you guys have seen this already, but they have, looks like a full palette of these. And over here in the aisle, they do have, well, one. I thought maybe they had more on the pegs. Nope. Just this stuff. Well, I have to say I am completely surprised that the homemade suit and the tech suit, web suit, whatever Spidey, is quote unquote peg warming. I don't want to say it now because it, it's just not starting to hit stores, but I'm surprised that the homemade suit isn't going faster than that. So obviously I didn't pick anything up, guys. This is me just kind of killing some time. Um, before all the stores open that I legit want to go to. So, Toys R Us next, then the mall. Alright guys, so I'm in FYE. And I didn't bring my freaking camera, of course. But look at what I just found. So I'm zooming through all of these pops. Boom. My first chase in the wild. Oh my god. I did not think I would find anything, so... This will for sure be coming up. What is up guys? Um, it's been a while since I've recorded, probably a little over an hour or so. Um, the last clip you saw was probably me getting that Taz chase from my phone. Um, yeah, I was a big dummy and didn't bring my camera because I was like, oh, I won't find anything, whatever. So, but shout out to the lady at that FYE. She told me that they actually hide their chases in their pop wall because of how bad the scalpers are in that area. So it made me laugh. She was like, I put that there Friday and no one has found it yet, obviously until I did. But she's like, I'm so surprised. She's like, there's been so many people digging through that wall. Karina will probably be super stoked. If you guys have noticed, we've been looking for that pop for a while. So I'm on my way to Mavericks, trying to get some footage there and then hit maybe two more stores, then probably head towards home and hit a Walmart and a couple Walgreens. So I will see you inside of Mavericks. All right, guys, obviously here in Mavericks, this is a store where I don't really know. Um, to record or to put music over so you guys will figure it out but let me show you everything they got i know quite a few of you guys are into transformers so i'll flip through this stuff for you i have no idea what this is i know this is new that's all i know freddy's walking dead once again i'm going to plug it if you guys are looking for those walking dead figures hit me up some joes and the three and three quarter star wars stuff looks about the same as last time got some 30th black series stuff and we still have some of those uh, legends up there. It looks like there's a Ghost Rider right there. Beast. A couple Iron Man figures. Bullseye, that Wolverine up there. Pretty cool. I just don't want to get, get into that line or series, whatever you want to call it. This Terminator is pretty cool. This is pretty badass. I, th I kind of just got that same figure just not this specific uh whatever you call it pretty cool 60 bucks eh, may pass on that one i don't know if you guys will be able to see 100 percent but these comic packs are awesome that's the asajj ventress one and toll score and i think that's the quinlan voss yeah quinlan voss this one is one of my favorites with skywalker i don't know if many of you guys collect the comic pack series but if you ever get a chance to look at them up close definitely check it out looks like we have a loose darth malgus the Star Killer 3 pack back there. Some list 6 inch Black Series figs. Honestly, nothing much has changed from the last time I was here. And Marvel. <laughs> oh wow, they have a loose UK Spidey for 5 bucks. That's not bad. And then Jackal for 5 as well.
And that Iron Man, I think that's from the, the two pack. He's also $5. That loose Cyclops is $3. Daredevil, seven. I might pick a couple of these up. So I'm gonna set this down, take a look one more time, and I will let you guys know what I pick up. Okay, and around the corner, looks like they have some more of the older legends. Um, this Wolverine, I've been wanting, but I don't know, like, I, but I want him loose, because he, he just looks pretty cool. 30 bucks, I can't pull the trigger on that. Boss, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Cyclops, except for Red Skull, Bullseye, Lady Deathstrike, and Lady Deathstrike. Got a long shot, Deathlock, and another long shot. Same thing with this Magneto. I'd really like him loose because I don't have a Magneto figure yet, but 30? Mm, I don't know. I'll, if you guys watched a couple, five or six videos ago, I came here and I debated on the same thing. Pyro, Wasp, Thing, and Black, Blackheart, and another Blackheart. So I found a bin full of build figure parts and I'm looking, so I think I found this for Ricky Dones again. So I'll message him to make sure he needs it, but if he does, then this is yours, brother. And then I think that's really it. I mean, they have quite a few Hulk Lester and Juggernaut pieces, but nothing I'm really looking for, so. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. All right, guys, leaving Mavericks. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of footage that I did take in there. I ended up picking that loose Cyclops up, the UK Spidey, and then that leg for Ricky Dones if he needs it. If he doesn't need it, then I'll just keep it for trade. So the next store will be, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. See you then. All right, guys, decided to stop into Walgreens real quick. Walking back to the toys, or whatever you want to call this. Um, Sunfire. Yeah, a bunch of old stuff. That's pretty much all it is. Oh, uh, pops are nothing. Deadshot. Boba Fett. CTV8, Pink Ranger, Phasma. Still have an Aaron on the pegs. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Quick trip, as always, into a Walgreens. Uh, well, they do have 40. We got Luke, Luke, and. Obi. Easy trip. Um, let's see, where are we going next? Maybe a toy store? I don't know, but let's go. Alright guys, just got to Toy Fan Attic and my mother effing sunglasses broke. Damn screw fell out of one of the, what are the things are called that go behind yours. So, I'm upset about that, but I'm going to go in here. Hopefully I can find something. So let's go look. Alright guys, so inside Toy Fan Attic, I want to give a shout out to the guy that was here. Um, I know he watched my videos. He actually recognized me, so that was pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, he's up front talking with the owner now. So I'm going to peek back here, show you guys what's going on, and then uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So starting out, we have some Black Series figs back here. We have the Red Arm 3PO, then we have Kylo, Django, and then this Trooper. I think Paul is looking for him. Uh, no, he's looking for the red one, Never mind. just kidding. And then we have Luke back there, and then another Flame Trooper. We have some animated Batman stuff up here, which is awesome. And I think, yeah, I remember seeing these here last time. We got Electro, Spider-Girl, Woman. I always get those confused, you guys know. We got Toxin, wish it was Carnage. Ant-Man, don't know who that guy is. Is that Constrictor maybe? I don't know. And then, yeah. 30 is Vader. Got some multiverse stuff. Oh, and some Saga collection stuff. Looks like some Gungans, that's pretty cool. I know, Joe, everybody hates Jar Jar, but you gotta show love to every character. And then DC stuff, as always. I wish there was some NECA stuff here. You guys obviously know I'm into that NECA game right now. I like that that suit, Batman. That's pretty cool. Then we have some Marvel figs. We got yep. Here we got Human Torch, Carnage Unleashed, and Invisible Woman. And then Human Torch again. I like this Carnage though. I'm a sucker for these card backs too. That's awesome. I like that. I've never seen this figure. I don't think. I didn't know that there was one even made back in the day with a removable mask. Some cool Lord of the Rings figures. I don't know if any of you collect Lord of the Rings, but or if you even like them. I personally do. I love the movies, as you well know. Here's some reaction figs of Terminator. If you guys watched my Kokomo video, you saw I got some Predator figs. Now I'm kind of familiar with what that is. And a little bit of wrestling stuff over here. 
we got a good selection of Lego. Most of these are sealed, I think. Not 100% sure. I've slowed down on my Lego buying just because I've gotten so many and I don't have anywhere to display them as you guys will know. So maybe once I ever, if I ever get a new house soon, I'll start opening up and displaying all that stuff. And here's the pops. I was here with Andrew a couple of weeks ago. I found a couple. I'm hoping maybe I can get lucky again. Morty. Harry Potter. Crane has that one. Oh, no way. I just freaking bought this. But... That's cool, 15 bucks, I think that's what I paid. The box is really good. <laughs> I wish I would've saw this earlier. Alien, Bioshock, Star Trek, Fallout, Batman, Batgirl, Marvin the Martian, Dot, classic Superman. With that, that comes with it, I guess. God, I just wanna buy him just to buy him. And this poor guy is still here. I wish the box was in better condition, because yeah, you already know. I've been looking for him. Punisher's still here. Cap. The Unmasked Batman's pretty cool. Scarlet Spider. What do we got back there? Salt and Pepper Shaker. So, Blast from the Past, I had these as a kid. These Battle Pack sets. I picked up a couple of sets from Mike's Vintage, as you guys know. So eventually I'll be going after these battle packs and everything. I think a Micro Machines display would be awesome, in my opinion. And we have some loose vehicles down here. Collector set and some older vintage stuff. And then we got a Spider Man pack. And this thing. That's pretty cool. I like the Wolverine. Old school Batman Robin. He still has a cap and Iron Man for 20, I believe. 25? Oh, 20. Good old loose Star Wars miscellaneous stuff. Just some fun stuff to dig through. Luke's lightsaber. We got a little turtle section over here. Once again, I wish I would get into this, but then that would just be another thing that I have to keep up with. I've already introduced NECA and unfortunately Mezco. But overall, this is his little loose case of, I would say, older stuff. Um, judging by everything that's in here, I would say it's quote unquote close to being vintage or older series. It looks like there's some new stuff, but. So walking out of Toy Fanatic, shout out to Tony, the owner. Um, it, I'll put their Facebook info down in the description below. Um, you can communicate with him through there if you're a local. Um, his business hours, all that good stuff is on there. So definitely if you are in the area or you're passing by, make sure to check him out. He's got a lot of other unique items that you really don't see in other toy shops. So if you do stop by, make sure you tell him Josh sent you. And uh, I think we're going to go to Time Warp now, which is the store that has all the legends from a couple videos ago. So I'll see you there, guys. All right guys, so in time warp, um, as you guys probably recognize, I'm gonna go through this stuff real quick. I've already went and picked through some of the rows to see what I was looking for before I started recording because I always skip over stuff that I want, so let me show you what they have. We got some of these do have build figures and some don't, but at least they all come with the box. Venom, I saw Paul just pick that up. We got War Machine and Lizard, Gamora. Looks like Bucky back there. Some Hulkbuster figures, Onslaught, White Tiger, Superior Spidey, Bat Rock, that's his name. Okay. Wasp, Amazing Spider Man 2, Spidey, Old Man Wolverine, Falcon, Iron Man from the Hulkbuster, obviously, but the first time seeing this in package. Sorry, red and yellow daredevil. Don't want to get anybody excited. Uh, Spider Carnage. Another name more. <coughs> Wolf Cap, Electro, and another one. And another Spidey. Grim Reaper. Another Scarlet Witch. And then, uh, and then Star Lord. Shatter Star. Another loose Grim Reaper. Red and yellow daredevil. Loose Iron Man. And then this, and this hurts my heart a little bit. I have been looking for her in package, but asking 50, that's eh, a little out of my price for this one. I have her loose, but I'd still like to get her in package because she looks pretty awesome. And going with the older figs, I always like to dig through these. Got Rhino finally in that lot a couple old, uh, week or so ago, I think. And some old Spidey Chameleon, Spider-Man card, uh, the Prowler. 
some of these bigger big card of figures another rhino spider-man with a web trap that was pretty cool uh looks like some articulation on that guy <laughs> have not seen that before and here we go. I have some Terminator figures, which look awesome. Oh, that'd be cool, right, Jaws? <laughs> McFarland does these. I did not know they did that. What year was this? Uh, 2001. Okay, so that's older. Another McFarland from Terminator 3. Hmm. Looks pretty cool. I'm hoping to find some NECA figures of uh, Terminator 2 movie. Here we got a Predator. Old Predator figure. From Kenner. Uh, I'm gaining knowledge on all this stuff as I go, but 1986 and 94, or 1987 and 94. Nightstorm Predator, that's pretty sweet. And then this thing. Wow. The Scar Predator from Alien vs. Predator. I love that head sculpt. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Um, 40 bucks. I will do my research real quick, but he's pretty badass looking. I like him a lot. So it looks like there's a couple more of these Predator figures from Kenner. We have the Clan Leader, and we have a Lava Planet Predator. These card backs are awesome, man, so... Never seen them before. Pretty excited that I know that these exist now. I am for sure debating about this guy. I just love that face. That's awesome. But I don't want to get too crazy and buy everything within a week, so I don't know. We'll see when this video is done. All right, Star Wars wise, honestly guys, it doesn't look any different than when I was last here. Pretty much Power of the Force stuff and some Black Series. Kind of what has been in stores besides this Chewy, that's the only thing that I see that's kind of new or different. And then Marvel Universe figs all up through there. Got some 30th anniversary figs. I think I went through these last time I was here. Uh, with Andrew. But what I've picked out so far is Craven. I passed up on him at Comics to Games, so I might snag him now. And build a figure wise, I think I have everything that I need. Based off of looking in here, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. But I will skim through this stuff for you guys. These are kind of, this is kind of the movie section. Got the Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, all that stuff. Got a Rambo figure. I was flipping through here for see if there's any NECA section but looks like just the Predator figure is what I found so far. I'm pretty interested in these figures. I know this is, I don't know if they're all made by Mezco or just Katana but I think there's like a Sub-Zero, a Scorpion, and a Raiden. Um, so if you guys know any info about that hit me in the comment section below because I'm interested in the Sub-Zero and Scorpion for sure. Well I'm digging through the loose stuff once again and I came across the two Cravens but they don't have his spear. So that kind of sucks. We got a Wolverine with a motorcycle, Iron Man, looks like a Rhino, Taskmaster, and on this wall there is just pretty much just miscellaneous stuff and this caught my eye. Terminator 2, the T-1000. I don't know if, I don't think this is in stores or anything anymore, but this would probably be one of the next NECA figures that I'd buy. I just love that scene when he's running on the back of the car trying to chase him with his claw, hammer, things, whatever you want to call him. Alright guys, so leaving Time Warp, I ended up picking up that loose Craven and then a, um, a Pink Ranger Morphing Exclusive Pop. Yeah, I know, I couldn't go a whole day without buying a pop. What's it to you? Um, but shout out to those guys, man. They are absolutely awesome in there. Once again, I will link their Facebook down below. Um, if you're ever in the area, please hit them up. They're actually gonna be at this uh, toy show that I'm going to in July. I got a, um, a flyer or a banner or whatever the hell it's called. The thing that tells you the info, I got that. Um, so I'll post either a picture of that right now and I will link the stuff down in the description below for that show because it's July 23rd. So, it, well, wow, it's July 2nd right now or 3rd. What day is it? Either way, so I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so obviously I am on my way home right now. I think I'm gonna call it a day on this hunt. I hope I got some good footage. Um, I know I got good pickups at least. I will be going home showing you guys everything that I got and for tomorrow being the fourth and having it off, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any hunting. I feel like I have maxed my hunting skills out for the weekend with Kokomo being Saturday and then today, so. Either way guys, I will see you at home. I hope you're all having a great day. Catch you in a second. Guys, I can't lie. It's Wednesday the 5th. The last time I picked this camera up was on Monday, which was obviously the last clip that you saw 
Um, I'm completely tired. We went and saw fireworks last night, obviously, as most of you probably did, so we were out super late, and we were busy all day yesterday, so I did not get a chance to actually even end the video, so that's what I'm doing now. So real quick, I'm just gonna go over everything that I picked up. Honestly, I already forgot, but luckily I found everything and I didn't put it away yet. First thing that I found was that Taz Chase for Karina. So this is my first Chase find in the wild. For Mavericks, as you guys saw, I picked up the Cyclops for like three bucks or something like that. So that makes my fourth Cyclops. He is probably hands down my favorite character. Also picked up that UK Spidey for three or four dollars. I can't remember. And then I picked up this Craven for eight dollars. If anybody happens to have his spear, um, please let me know. It was either buy him loose for $8 or buy him in the box for like $22. So this was the cheaper route. And then I also picked up the Pink Ranger GameStop exclusive Morphing Pop. Um, I can't find it, but I know it was in a clip. Also, I got this from Amazon, Eel. I think he was like $11. I'm starting my Abomination build. So this, and I think I have the head from Scarlet Witch and one of the arms. So he is gonna be my next build figure that I will complete. With the current date being Wednesday, this weekend, this coming up weekend, I think Karina and I are going to go to Trader's World possibly. Maybe visit Mike's Vintage. He gave me the lowdown that he has quite a bit of Toy Biz carded figures or something coming in. I don't know if they're loose and carded or both, but either way, I think that's gonna be the move for this weekend. I'm trying to bring you guys a sweet video every single weekend, so if you guys have made it this far into the video, please comment down below if you guys like the videos that I've been putting out thus far. That Kokomo Toys video, it's been up for like two or three days and it has like four and a half thousand views, like 4,600 or 4,500, I don't know. Absolutely crazy, so Thank you guys for blowing up that video for me. I don't wanna keep just going to Walmarts, Targets, and all that stuff, so my goal is at least every weekend or every other weekend do a pretty sweet hunt and at least incorporate some of my local shop. I'm not sure what I did in this video until I go to edit it, but if you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope you're having a good day, a good evening, a good afternoon. Whenever you watch this, I hope it's doing good for you. Personally, I am excited for this weekend. I love going to Traders World like once a month or once every other month because all the new stuff cycles in. Make sure you are following my Instagram. The handle will be in one of these corners and the link will be in the description down below. So with that being said, I hope you guys had a good holiday. I hope it was a safe one. I hope you guys got to hunt on your day off. I will see you in the next video and as always, may the fix be with you.